Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, things are going pretty well. We're working on breeding a bunch of plutonium at the moment. Um, we need a whole bunch of that so that we can make a bunch of nuclear weapons, so that we can unify the rim underneath my leadership. If we don't have a ton of nukes, how can we spread a gentle rain of plutonium across the landscape? Actually, that'd be a gentle rain of stronium-90, wouldn't it? Anyway, that doesn't matter. The point is, we're getting some more fuel rods made, and then we'll plonk them into our breeder reactor here, and, um... Well, turn that into plutonium as fast as we can. We've got the Liberator um, silo here so that, you know, eventually we'll be able to make and launch ICBMs, but that is still a ways away. Um, at the moment, we are finishing up our um, HEL prototype, which is kind of a cool name. This is a laser that shoots down mortar shells. It's amazingly cool. I have Mika trying to mortar. What is it you're trying to mortar? Like a wolf or something? Yeah, and we're shooting it down. I actually just had this mortar switch over to incendiary shells because we never use them and the shells aren't exactly making it to the target to begin with. Um, boy, that's it. That's all the notes I have. I should have gotten the res serum to res Becca. I will try to remember in the near future. I don't remember if I have another AI Persona Core to fix her brain or not. I might. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we do need at least one more super, capa uh, super capacitor, so we're going to go ahead and get that going. And I queued up the last number of rods that we need. We need five more fuel rods to get the thing filled up. I don't actually know how many pellets we need, so I just put, you know, some. So we'll get that worked on. We've got two uranium mines up here that should be ticking along more or less continuously. Oh, did you see it? Ah, I missed it. That was super cool. Let's watch this and I'll slow down again so you can see it because it's amazing. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. It's such a cool look. I hope you think it's cool because I know I'm making a big deal out of it. Ready, steady. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love it. We only need to do two more and then we'll be set to go on that. Um... Research-wise, I was finishing up the spaceship. You know what I should do? Is I really should go back and um, make some cooler guns. We'll make at least one of the friendly fire guns from the last series and stuff like that. Um, it led to a lot of comedy, so I would like to get that built. Oh yeah, and we're making a bunch more chairs because we suddenly we have a whole bunch of lizard skin. So, how cool is that? And maybe I'll make a television too for them. Or a nicer TV, rather. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, Mika, just one more and then I will release you from your labor. Hi, visitors. And that should be the end of that. So I can go ahead and release you, thank you. I can go ahead and put this back on the correct shells. Yep, and that should be all the data I need, right? Yep, ta-da! We are now combat ready. Nice. So what should we do then in Rim Atomics? Liberator, obviously we're waiting on that. Um, control rod actuators. I'll be able to do that in the near future. I might as well do it. Um, targeting chip is for the railgun. Um, obelisk lens module does not sound super helpful. So this railgun worries me. I'm not totally sure I want to buy one, so given the fact that I use a kill box for everything and am thus, you know, horrifyingly underusing these wonderful punishers, um, I don't think having a coaxial railgun that shoots radioactive shells would be a great idea. I mean, I guess I could build one and put it outside, but it'll get blown up, so I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see. I should probably research it. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I don't know, whatever. Um, we've got a lung going here for convergence. Yes, because Convergence got her lung shot out, and it was very sad, I'm sure. I, I wasn't paying enough attention. But that sounds sad to me, you know. An Arctic Wolf is hunting Sonata for food. Sonata is one of the Octo uh, Arctic Wolves that I couldn't bring myself to get rid of, right? Yeah. Where are you, anyway? Can't be that far away. Um... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just come kill you. Snaz and Waffle can come take care of you. Let's go ahead and let's set you to hunt. We'll set the two of you to drafted hunt, although that doesn't make a lot of sense for Waffle. That should be more than enough firepower. It looks like it was trying to go in this way anyway. But it won't be for long. Come on, Snaz. And then we'll have Waffle kill it. Because Waffle's good at killing. It's sort of funny, by the way, how, like, Waffle as a concept, keeps getting reincarnated, because I pick all the names with the random number generator. So this is all just kind of amusing that I keep getting these unstoppable super, I don't even know what to call them, super soldiers, super weapons that are all waffle. I think it's hilarious. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to re-disable one of those drills because I want my miners to focus up here. And they're kind of getting distracted going back and forth. So why don't you do that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, and good. We got this other capacitor built. And going well, and I've got four completed rods. And how are we doing now? This should be the fifth, and I think we only need three more after that. Yep, looking good. You know, there is a button on this console that I haven't used called Send Trade Ship. Let's hit it. 
A Remitomics trade ship has been dispatched to your planet. It will take two days to arrive. Oh, cool. All right. Um, it sounded like one of you said that um, they'll be able to sell me parts for Remitomics stuff, so that'd be kind of cool. I mean, we could definitely use it. I mean, now we only have 7,000 silver. Maybe they'd want to buy statues. We are getting quite a collection of statues. We have we have five of them. Oh yeah, here. This is what I wanted to check. Um, yeah, we have one AI Persona Core and one Tech Prof Sub Persona Core. Didn't we have a Youth Serum? I think I sold that, didn't I? Yeah. And what is this? Oh, Biofuel. Um, I don't need it, but we can sell it. I don't, I don't know why we'd want it at all, actually, now that I think about it. Wait, what the hell am I going to do with Biofuel? Uh, wh whatever, whatever, someone will buy it. Ah, good, an infestation. I've been waiting for something exciting to happen. Okay, it's going to come in here. All right, let's bring everyone back in. Um, let's hold that door open. We're going to lose the table. We always do. It's so disappointing. Um, I don't think that I can get the animals back inside, but we'll try. And the same with you guys. Kind of come towards the base. This is not set up right. Okay, well... It hasn't worked in the past, but Waffle has been around in the past to kind of save everybody. So, um... Waffle, actually, why don't you come stay right here? Waffle does a lot of saving. That's kind of her thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to fight him outside. That's fine. In that case, let's just grab everybody. And come on out here and let's fight these bugs. No, oh, don't knock down the drill! They're expensive! Okay, here, hold on. I can't see. Um, Pope, go ahead and switch back to your proper gun. Waffle, get up here. Come kill these stupid bugs. Here, come kill that stupid bug. There you go. Oh, ah, uh, Teddy, where are you? You can come help as well. Um, I must have missed Jeff. Oh, yeah, I missed Jeff. Well, Jeff, you're gonna miss the entire party, but we'll try. There you go, Waffle's got this. Waffle's all over this. Waffle may get some bruises. Poor Waffle. You may slaughter 90 bugs, and then be ever so mildly inconvenienced. Okay, and is that it? Yep, that's it. Jeff, you missed the entire thing. Poor Waffle. Ah, uh, look at that. Uh, I tell ya. It's very tragic. Oh good, they didn't destroy the drills. They did just destroy the tables. Okay, well that's kinda cool. Alright, well, carry on. Um, this is fine. We can use the bug meat. I mean, I don't mind having it around. We can turn it into... I don't know, arms and legs and stuff like that. And limbs? Haven't we been doing that? Like, making all of our body parts out of them? Um, kill all those. There's more in here to kill, but I can't seem to select them all. I just like putting these things to hunt. They're gonna fall over and die. I don't even know why they got back up, but it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and this door doesn't need to be open. And I locked everyone in. Let's change that. Animals go outside. Back to normal. Thank you. And all of you go back to normal as well. Thank you for your assistance. Please go slaughter the rest of the bugs. Thank you. And then bring them all inside. Actually, Convergence, Moody, you're right here. Why don't you go ahead and kill these? Um, finish off. Thank you. Perfect. Nicely done. I don't care if the dogs eat some of them, although I'd rather bring them inside and turn them into meat, so I will set them into haul urgently. Look at this amazing mismatch of chairs we've got going on. Isn't this great? <laughs> with a bunch of lizard chairs in the back. <laughs> uh, I need to make them a nicer TV. Soon. We're actually hurting just a little bit on steel. Not that much, but enough that I don't really want to blow it all right at the moment. You know, I've got a bunch of rods. Should I just plunk them in here so they're at least, like, going? Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Mort, are you smart enough to run this reactor? No. Eri, can you please run the reactor? Um... Who should I lock inside to do some hauling? You'll haul, right? I was at the check to make sure that you're not, like, incapable of hauling. No, you're fine. Okay, come on in here. Alright. I'm just gonna lock him inside so then he can't, like, leave and go do anything that's more fun. Okay. You just go ahead and stand right in that reactor. Okay, so I can go ahead and shut this down. This won't take long. Um, yeah, the batteries up here will drain almost immediately. Oh, gross. That shouldn't be out there. You. Um. That's not good. Where should we put a rotting muffalo? I'll allow rotten. Um. I'd have to put up a separate storage space for this. This is this is a little dumb. Sorry about this. Okay, and this will be for just rotting corpses for everything. Well, not mechanoids. 
Okay. That should get that taken care of. Alright, so what was I doing in the meantime? Oh, that's right. The reactor was shutting down. Okay. Shutting down. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll just put them all in there. Hurry up. Shut down. Okay, shut down and cold. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's eject all these. I love this thing, by the way. I think it's super neat. Even if it's not strictly necessary, I think it's cool. Jeff? All. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and bring the reactor back online. Thank you. Continue on your way. Colossus treatment. This isn't like radi radiation poisoning or anything, right? Yeah, no, it's just your heart. Okay, let's kind of keep an eye on this as it powers up. Looking good. Yeah, looking real good. 195 kilowatts. Nice. So much power, and we only need three more rods, and then the whole thing will be full, right? Yep. Oh, this is great. This will really keep the neutron flux up high. We'll get more uh, plutonium bread. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. That's not, you know, downwind of me. Ooh, a psychic ship. Finally, some excitement. All right, what do we got? Oh, that's in a weird place. Um, huh. Okay. Okay, how do we want to deal with the psychic ship? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything more exciting that I can do other than stuff I've already done. You know, because usually I just pull it around the corner and then, you know, blow it up and whatever. And that's okay. Hmm. See, the stuff that would be fun would be like remote explosives, and I have not been researching those, unfortunately. Um. Yeah. We should have really been doing some of the big ones here. Well, actually... Actually, I'm not sure what I'd have to research to get better explosions. So, I guess, I guess, yeah, we'll just do the same thing as always. Um, I will kind of skim past this a little bit so you guys don't have to necessarily watch it all. It's, it's fun in its own way, but not super great. Um, let's pull everybody inside quick and let's get all the outside doors closed. Um, and this door in particular closed. And this to protect my auto doors and this because reasons. Let's get everyone through. Make sure this door gets closed. That's the one that usually gets neglected. I may have to bring someone over there manually. Oh yeah, and I decided to make a flat panel TV. I think Besmar is going to close the door for me. Yep, isn't that thoughtful. Okay, well, let's go ahead and let's just mortar it for a little bit. Um, and see what's in there. Yeah, we can do that. Waffle, you look kind of bored. Why don't you come man this mortar? And let's set the force target up here. But let's hold fire until you're ready. I want to make sure everybody's inside first. Anything around here? Performance is not as good as it used to be, but okay. All right, well, I guess, um, why don't you go ahead and open the ship up and let's see what we got going on in here. All right. All right, hold on. So, what do we got going on here? Um, we have 10 centipedes, 12 lancers, and 11 scythers. That's, that's not a small group of baddies, that's for sure. That is not, that is not an insignificant number of them. You know what, let's just mortar the ship. It's fun. We can afford it. Let's just do it. Although I'm not going to have Waffle do it, because Waffle will be more important somewhere else. So how about we have... Who's not super important? Moody, you're not super important. Command this mortar. And who's going to be doing EMP duty? Pope, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, we can have Pope do it. Well, n no. I think it was... I think it was... I think it was Snaz that had been doing it. Yeah, Snaz is a better option. Yeah, just keep mortaring the ship and let's see what happens. We do have everybody inside, right? And all the doors closed? Yes. That is correct. Okay, good. And you know what I should do? We've had some weirdness before, so let's f uh, forbid all these outside doors. So that, like, we don't get people trying to ride animals outside. Okay, that's not, that's not as bad. Alright. Yeah, the Lancers think they're coming over here, but we haven't hit it enough times for them to really decide to come over here. Actually, well, maybe we have. I don't know. No, 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 we haven't. Nope. Jeff, by the way, how are you doing? Um, Let's make sure that you're, like, well-fed, because you're going to be manning this console for kind of a while. Yeah. Well, that's not a bad hit. Good job. All right, consumer stir-fry, hurry up. 
Okay, and then after that, how are you guys doing? You're actually hitting this ship rather hard. See? See, look. Look at this. No. Bad. Now Thor 2 is going to die because Thor 2 is stuck outside. Okay, maybe not. Okay, you're lucky. Oh, maybe they are going to make it around the corner. They're sure thinking about it. They're sure thinking about it. Maybe I'd better bring some of you guys into your defensive positions. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we should do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Snaz, come on down here. Switch to your EMP weapon. Uh, you guys did it. Wow, I'm impressed. Well done. Okay, everybody then. Um, go ahead and go to your defensive position, and I will just go ahead and move Snaz manually. Stay here. Oh, dismount. Hey, that's perfect, actually. Yeah, and then stay here, and then Convergence... No, you've got a spot. Grob, come over here. Um, Michael, come over here. And I need to keep track of Convergence. I don't know what you're doing. Well, everything looks okay, so... Oh, yeah, where's our little display? Here we go. Yes, I love this little display. We'll put it up on this side, though, so it's not in the way. Okay, it looks like everything is going more or less where I expect it to go. Okay, good. Nope, see, look, Airy. Airy has this weird thing going on. Airy, do you not have a defensive position inside? I don't think you do. Well, this is good enough. And who's riding Cat, by the way? Is that Moody? Moody? Seriously, dismount. Come on, buddy. Okay, and let's set your defensive position, and let's set your defensive positions, just so we, just, you know, so we have them. Alright. I guess we can go ahead and start throwing EMP grenades. Sure, go ahead. It's not strictly necessary yet. And these are both loaded, right? Um, no. Not really. Well, okay. Alright, and here come the big guns. So, let's have these things are both set to hold fire. Alright, we're gonna set our force target over here. Yeah, it's gonna end up blowing up the wall again. Um, I don't care. What we're gonna need to do, though, is get rid of these centipedes in a hurry. They are the real problem here. So let's get those rotated around and ready. Come on, set your force target. Get over here. Same with you. Get ready. In fact, just start firing, both of you. Just go for it. All right, here we go. Now, here's the excitement. This is the exciting part. Wait, hold on, hold on. I just saw the hell operate. Is it shooting down? No, no, no. I think it shot down the shells from our Punishers, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it did. I guess it doesn't really matter. We got this, okay. Hide in room. Well, okay. Fine. Yeah, rip wall. Whoops. Whoops, and we finally got this off. Okay, um, Aerie, trigger the fire foam. As fast as you can, please. Okay, and all you guys, get back over here to your defensive positions. Don't be out there. Yeah, this is, this is the sketchy part. This is the really sketchy part. Go ahead and take out the walls. Just do it. Get back in your defensive positions. You're not on fire anymore, you're okay. There we go. Got some more stuns up. Now we should be fine, depending on how long. Yeah, this one is no longer of any use. Guys! You're not on fire. Get in there. Oh, we're down to one. Okay. Um, set force target. No, it's not forced attack. Hold the fire. Just go ahead and kill these last, what? Oh, I guess there's more than that. I guess there are two or three in there. But they should be okay. As it sets everybody on fire. All right, and I think that's it. Thank you, team. Unrestrict. That worked okay. I mean, well, that worked. That worked for some definitions of worked. And let's have somebody who's still nice and healthy and has a gun, which is very, very few of you. Um, Grob, apparently. Grob, come up here. Um, I'm going to have you come take care of this thing. Lots of treatment, but I think they're all just burns and stuff. I think it'll be no big deal. And we can go ahead and unforbid all these doors. Sorry about that. All right, well, that could have gone a little better. Yeah, that wasn't ideal, but here we are. Days, yep, that's fine. 
Alcohol binge. Yep, that's fine. I assume, as long as you don't die. Corpse obsession. Okay, okay. seriously, guys, chill out. Now, which corpse are you digging up? Are you going to pop open Becca? Yes, that's rude. Poor Becca. All right. Prioritize. Wait, forbidden. Why are you forbidden? Don't be forbidden. Go haul her. Should make you eat her. That's something you deserve. All right, Moody, Um, you should be set to self-tend. Let's just go ahead and let's just get everybody tended. Uh, Jeff, or I'm sorry, Grob, thank you. Let's go ahead and let's unforbid this stuff. That was... That was a little sketchy, but it's okay. We got a lot of colonists that need treatment, which is unfortunate. Actually, Grob, here. You're not actually all that bad at doctoring. Oh, you are doctoring. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and get everyone taken care of. Grob, get back here. Oh, you are. Sorry. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, so Wit, who is wandering around, just has a burn. He should be okay. Donnie, who's just wandering around, also has a burn. Neither of those are good. It's easy to get infections, but... It's not that bad. They'll change their mind, and they'll stop being crazy here pretty soon, and then we can get them treated. And Becca is back in the freezer. Good. Oh, my lung is done! Hey, cool! Well, okay, or Mika can probably get an infection. That's a lot less good. Um, where are you? Come attend. Okay, Wit's gotten an infection now, so unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to go, like, arrest Wit. So that I can get him back in here. So, who's up? Y you're not up, but why don't you come try to arrest Wit? Maybe Donnie, although I'm not as concerned about Donnie yet. Visitors. <laughs> uh, I love to think of what visitors think when they walk in here, and they're like, um... Okay, perfect. Now I can go ahead and I can undraft you. Oh, you're still psychotic wandering. Oh, um... Hmm. I thought that fixed psychotic wandering. Apparently not. Well, we can wait a little bit, and if this becomes a problem, I will just go ahead and knock you down. You're at 7%. If it gets to, say, 15, I'm gonna come knock you down. Bandit outpost, blah blah blah. No, you know what? This, this is a dumb idea. Who does not have a melee weapon? Now, you do not have a melee weapon. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and come melee attack Wit. I need Wit to fall down, is what I need. So that I can rescue Wit. Don't kill Wit. Oh, you're using your thrumbo horn. Actually, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Um, I don't want Waffle punching you. Waffle will just slaughter you outright. Let's try Airy. Maybe Airy is kinder, kinder and gentler. Come on, Wit. Fall over, man. This guy's really taking a beating. There we go. Thank you. And can you go ahead and rescue? Thank you. And someone can come get this gun and haul it inside. Okay. Donnie is still out and about, but does not have an infection yet, so I'm a little less concerned about that. Alright, now Wit is being tended to. Excellent. Now you should be perfectly fine. Okay. What did I just say? Oh, it's Noriko. Okay. Who's already in bed? Never mind. Okay, now that Moody's up, let's actually pop this lung into Convergence. Because Moody, you're back up and you're at 100% for operation, right? 84? Wait, what? Why is this so low? What's wrong with you? Oh, you're missing an eye. Fuck me. Okay, well, let's grow some more eyes. Do I not have an eye around anywhere? Apparently not. Okay, well... This is annoying. Okay, who's my next best doctor then? It's gonna be Teddy, I assume. What are you at? 90? Why? What's missing on your body? Just a finger? Come on, it's not that bad. You can do it. Okay, anyway, let's set Convergence to get a right lung installed. Mm, where is it? Oh, it hasn't been unloaded yet. Okay, let's have someone else do that then. Teddy, I don't know where you are, but when you're done, come unload this. Go ahead and eat. Thank you. Three of my... Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay. Well, you should all be set to bed rest on number one, so come rest. You'll be okay. 
Um, at least it's not Teddy. So that's good. Alright. We got this lung in here. Wait, lung transplant? What? Why would you have rejection from that? We made you a new lung from scratch. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that was the whole point of growing you a new lung. Did I have a spare lung? And accidentally use that? Let's find out, actually. Let's just try putting another lung in. Okay, well... That didn't help. Well, that's weird. Okay. Now I have to make you two lungs, so that was a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Okay, um... Hmm. Well. Okay. Um, we'd have to make what? Synthetic organs? And then that requires hyperweave. Yeah, lots of hyperweave. Okay. So I made things much, much worse. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, crap. Actually, I wonder if I swap her other lung back in. <laughs> uh, can I do it? I don't think I can. I think I'd have to take a lung out. Yeah. All right. Well. Hmm. Oh, and another infestation. Um, oh, over here. That's no big deal. Um... What time is it? Um, yeah, we can go ahead and do this. Now, Convergence, how does this affect you in general? Not much. As long as it's been tended. Okay, alright. Animals, come on in. We have time to kill these bugs. Let's do that. All of you guys come indoors. All of you guys come into the base. You guys know the drill. Open the doors. Close the doors. All this stuff like that. Close that as you come past. Thank you. Close that as somebody comes past. I guess it doesn't matter if they do or not. Now these guys, unfortunately, we're going to have to, like, shoot. Oh, there's a cougar hunting snaz. Well, that's not good at all. Um. Um. Okay, who can help with that? Who's handy? Jeff? Come melee this cougar. Now, actually, those bugs won't run for us right away, so maybe it's not such a big deal. Mort, come help. And then snaz. Um. Kite? As best you can. Which is not very good. Hurry up, guys. Nephew, maybe you better come help, too. Come on, Jeff. There we go. Kill it. Fire it, cougar. And you just shot your friend in the back of the head. You sure did. Okay. Well, let's unforbid this stuff. I'm going to have to leave at least one of you outside to come save everybody. Um, Jeff, I'm going to unrestrict you. Rescue Snaz. Mort, I'm going to unrestrict you. Um, I need you to haul in these guns. And then that. Yep. So go ahead and do that, please. Seriously, guys. Seriously. That is a lot of bugs. Um, we could just firebomb them. That wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Actually, Mort, I'm meant for you to carry this first. Please do that. Yeah, maybe we will use some of those incendiary shells. Okay, let's reload this one up with those then. It'll be fun, if nothing else, right? Right. And isn't that what's important in the end? The answer is no. Please close that door for me. Boy, at least the um, at least the lasers will be fun here. Oh, and this wall hasn't been rebuilt. Ah, because we don't have enough blocks. Uh, okay. Tell you what, I'm going to re-restrict everyone to the home zone. You know, that can just be auto. And then go build all this stuff, guys. Alright, looks like the wall's been put together. Let's go ahead and let's re-restrict everyone on into the base. Should be like that. Yep. And then, once everything is inside, then we'll go ahead and we'll start firebombing these things. Okay. I know we have sick people and stuff like that, but we're just gonna go ahead and not worry about it. This is gonna be a little annoying. So where is... So it looks like you can shoot anywhere in here. Pr probably... Here, let's let them move a little bit, because I don't want to actually shoot on a thing. Here, try that, and then hopefully you won't hit the mountain. 
And I think that will be okay. This guy is gonna die. But that's not my problem. That's his problem. And so is this guy. That guy's gonna die. And that's not my problem. Alright, well, this should be interesting. It should only take one or two shells. Once we actually get things lit, you know, it'll be fine. Three, two, one... Hey, well done! And that fire should spread and piss everybody off. Well done. Alright, so who should not be up and around? You are actually really infected. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. And, oh yeah, how's our people with the plague? You should be basically fine. Yeah, okay. Well, I think we're going to have to send everybody out, though. Is this going to spread over and set all these hives on fire? It looks like it might. If it does, that'll completely solve our problems. It's this fire right here that's going to make a difference. If you light one of these two on fire, we're going to be good. You know what? I better send everyone to their defensive positions. <laughs> Come on, fire. Come on, fire. You can do it. I don't think it's going to do it. Oh, there we go. Isn't that going to upset them? It should. Okay. Okay, see, now they're upset again. Alright, let's bring everyone back out. Um, there's an annual expo for culture. Oh, well, okay, maybe. I'm not actually sure what to do for that. Alright, let's try this again. Are our visitors safely inside this time? Yes, they are. Good. Norco and Wit, why? What's wrong with you guys? Um, no, you're fine. For the moment. Yeah, 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 you're fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, and this should get all the hives. So, alright, come on in, bugs. Okay, Snaz has gotten another infection. That's, that's less good. That's, that's a lot less good. You know what? You go ahead and be free. And why don't I also just release Grob? Yeah. So that you can get tended. This should be okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this will work against bugs. It says, such as targeted. You know, humans or whatever. Come on, bugs. There we go, finally. Snaz, buddy, are you laying down? Eventually. Major break risk, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, this thing. Um, let's just try it. I've never actually tested it. Does it make them flee? It does make them flee. Ooh. Neat. Uses rather a lot of power, but that's okay. Okay, this has suddenly gotten a lot worse, so some of them have actually made it in here, and I did not actually notice that. That's not good. Um, I thought that Waffle had the door blocked, and she does not. But that's okay. Can you come up here a little bit, Waffle? No, you can't. Okay. And now they're going this way, that's not good. Yeah, I thought that Waffle had that door blocked. Um, go here. And we're gonna have to send somebody else over. Well, let's just leave those two in there for the moment. They should be okay. They may actually come chase Waffle again, and she can definitely handle it. This is a lot of bugs. This really is a lot of bugs. Come on, Waffle. We're really actually depending on Waffle. Like, kind of a lot. Uh-oh. Come on, Waffle. I may need to bring Jeff over, actually. Maybe not. Maybe she can take care of everything. She's doing great. Uh-oh, and now we're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Um, Jeff, you're not strictly needed over here. Grob, come here. You're going to have to play melee. 
this this could go wrong in a hurry, guys. I mean, we've got, you know, a lot of guns and stuff here. Okay. Good job. Good job, Jeff. Um, whoa, hold on. Go here. Alright, Grob, go ahead and switch back. Still got a few more bugs coming in. Still got lots of power. Looking good. You know what? I think we have a few enough bugs now that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold this fire. And I'm going to unre uh, undraft everybody. Because I think the guns can take care of everything. Oh, look at all those bruises and stuff you got. Please rescue Waffle. Poor Waffle. And she's so good at what she does, too. Which is murder. Murder everything. Um, okay, hold on. We'll check you out. Radiation suit. Oh, hello. Yes. Let's check that out. Snaz, snaz should have been tended by now, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Poor Waffle. And everybody else who's hurt. Just minor stuff. Yeah, gunshot, stuff like that. Okay. Man, that's sad. Grab, are you injured? Much? Just some bruises. Why don't you come rest as well, please? Um, Teddy, how injured are you? Not great, but why don't you tend to waffle quick since you're here? Oh, you're already tending to waffle. Sorry, never mind. Well, this is running a little longer than I wanted, but we'll make sure everybody's tended first. Okay, now I think that's it for bugs. Let's look around. I think that's it. That is a lot of bugs. That is a lot of bugs. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to do with all these bug corpses? Because they're not even going to burn. Oh, man. Um. Alright, well, let's double check just to make sure everyone's been tended. Yeah, Grob is fully healed, of course. Oh, man. Waffle, you did a great job. And you should be okay. And you'll be fine momentarily. And you should be fine. And you are also fine. Okay, then, at this point, I think let's go ahead and let's take a break. I'm going to call this a success. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.